recently came back from a holiday and I stayed at this adorable little Airbnb. And the whole time I was staying there, I thought, you know what? As soon as I get back from my holiday, I'm gonna be building this Airbnb in Bloxburg. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. And also, if you don't know what an Airbnb is, it's pretty much a fancy way of saying bed and breakfast. And instead of staying at like a normal hotel, we can just have the room. Airbnbs, you can have like the entire house to yourself. Why does this sound sponsored? Uh, guys, I'm not sponsored by Airbnb. That would be pretty cool though. Airbnb, hit me up, girl. Okay, so the Airbnb I'm doing is very inspired by like the one that I stayed at. It's kind of this like two-story country, country house. It's very cute. And it's actually the first time that I've ever actually went away. So it was very exciting for me. Ooh, this is nice. You know what I found so cute though? So obviously because I was away, I couldn't post for like a couple of days. And in my head, I was like, it's fine. No one's gonna notice that I'm gone. And then I opened my comments and everyone's like, Alaska, where are you? Are you dead? And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But to answer your question, no, I'm not dead. Sorry to burst your bubble. Is she dead? There's also kind of like a little balcony that went above the roof like that. Is that in the center? Yes. Is it? I don't know. Guys, I haven't played Boxburg in like too long. I forgot how to center my builds. <gasps> Wait, okay. Thought of the most genius thing ever. Okay, shut up. Ready? Basic opening. We're gonna have a balcony door here, but I want it to look like a window. And then we're gonna outline it with a standard square beam. And we can't forget some good old shutters. And then for the windows, we can use semi-transparent cubes. And I mean, it's not really looking like a window, so I might just have to outline this a little bit. And you know what? The good thing is we're doing an antique vintage house. So like in your head, if you're like those square beams aren't the same size as each other, guess what? This whole video, I'm just gonna use the excuse as a, it's an antique house. Oh guys, when I say this was like an old antique house, I'm saying like, you know, in the olden days, how people had to grab their milk from like a rope if they had a second story. They had one of those things up here. Oh, this is a bit awkward. I want a slanted roof here, but like it goes up into the window. Great. I love, I love scheduling out things accurately. Ugh, fine, fine. I will use a flat roof. Okay. Are you happy, Bloxburg? How dare you ruin my dreams? How dare you? Now, we cannot forget the balcony. It also led to its own private carport. I would say garage, but it wasn't really a garage. It was more of a carport. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'll quickly color this in. Color, color, color. Oh my gosh. Power of editing. And it's done. Okay, so we've got the pillars underneath here. Now, surprisingly, this is not the front of the house. This is actually the backyard. Kind of. It didn't really have a... It didn't really have like the front side of the house. The backyard was the front yard. And the front yard was the backyard. And the back of the house was the front of the house. Is it, am I making sense? Okay, so we have the door here. Oh my gosh, wait, no, I have to add this. I have to. I don't know how I'm going to do it though. Do we have a key? Oh, we have a key. Okay, so in the house that I stayed, I'm not kidding. The way to get into the house, I had to use a little antique key and it was adorable. It was literally my dream house. I don't get how YouTubers want to move to LA and move to like big fancy houses. Nuh -uh. I just want to live on a little farm like this. Anyway, we'll put the keys in here. And then we had the windows. We had one window by the kitchen. Wait, do we have one window or two windows by the kitchen? I think we had two. I love how I'm asking you guys as if you stayed with me. Hola, soy Dora. Can you find where I asked? Oh, and then by the lounge room, we had these big gorgeous windows in the living room that looked right out into the balcony. It was actually really nice. Okay, so that was kind of it for the front section here. We literally did not have any windows up here. It's hard to explain, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna add a few more windows up the top here. I mean, we technically had skylight roofs, so I can't really add those. So. And as for the furniture on the balcony, I had a little outdoor table. This was actually terrifying because I nearly got bit by a bee out here. A bee and a wasp, oh my gosh. It was morning, right? I was having breakfast, everything was fine. And then this bee lands on me and I'm like, hell no. And I was freaking out. I'm like, ah, help me. Like, I'm sorry. Um, I know we're meant to like bees, but I'm terrified of them. So I was like, yeah, no. You gotta go, like today. So yeah, it was the most terrifying moment of my life. But besides that, we had these cute tables out here. We have a little vintage candle. What else did it have? Oh, it also had a barbecue. But I mean, not gonna lie, I did not know how to use a barbecue, so it kind of just sat there. One more thing it had on the balcony was a little tiny park bench. The last thing they had was like string lights at the bottom, and it looked something like that. Okay, now for the front yard, I tell you, this place had a ton of trees. I mean, a ton of trees. It was a little bit awkward though, because um, I Airbnb kind of backed up into someone else's house. <laughs> and you know how you and your neighbor have like normal fences? No, this house did not have a fence. It had a hedge. And that's how you could tell your backyard ended. By a little grass hedge, exactly like this. 
Hi. Oh, now you know what made me fall in love with this place? They had an outdoor spa and I was just like, oh my days, I am in heaven. And it was surrounded by these trees. So maybe to light this up, we can use some string lights above the trees, something like that. Oh la la. Does Bloxburg have an outdoor tub? <gasps> Round hot tub. Oh, I'm buying it. Did I just buy Bloxbox so I could buy a hot tub? No, I would never. Yes, yes, I did. Anyway, this hot tub was like fully concrete, like this. And then they had a little stone footpath that led back into the house. So I think that's it for the front yard. As for the carport, we're actually gonna knock down the walls because uh, they didn't really use walls. It was more so these fences they added. Yeah, so what was cool about this was the garage actually led straight onto the main road. A very big, obnoxious driveway, if I say so myself. So yeah, we can have a little car right here. The perfect vintage car as well. It really fits the theme. So now that that's done, we now have the inside of the Airbnb. The majority of this Airbnb was just like white wallpaper. So pretty easy with that. Well, they also had a booklet of the house and the house was actually 150 years old. And the person who built the house was actually a doctor from like 150 years ago. So. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. And y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I was just chilling at night and I'm like, how many ghosts are in this house right now? Now, the first thing I need to do is figure out where the stairs are going to go. Oh, um, funny story with these stairs is I actually fell down them. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I fell down these stairs. It's like one o'clock in the morning and I wanted a drink and I was too lazy to turn on the light. So I was like right here. I was right here and I misplaced my foot and I go boom, boom, boom all the way down. <laughs> I think we had a window here. I think the owners were obsessed with horses because there was a massive horse painting right here. And down here, this led straight into the dining room. The dining room was pretty simple. It was actually very, very similar to this rustic table in Bloxburg. So we're gonna use that. It was such a cute dining room as well. I think dining rooms nowadays, they're so big. This one was just very cute and cozy. And then they had like a chandelier above the dining table. When I tell you guys that this house was like antique, I remember they had a fancy mirror right here. Literally this exact photo frame I kid you not and you know how I um I hate these glass panel doors I had something similar to this but the glass was um frosted glass I think it was a like green frosted glass it was very different you know what I thought it looked pretty cool now that that's done one thing that every Airbnb has is at the front they have a little complimentary basket so we'll put a basket right here a little note that says welcome to your stay what else um oh towels the place that I stayed they had towels on the bed so I don't know we'll just fill this up with like little goodies and then we can move on to the next bit which is the kitchen i remember the kitchen so specifically because it was actually adorable kind of had a stove exactly like this one and for an antique house it was actually pretty modern it wasn't like your typical antique house it was actually quite lovely they had tea and little biscuits that was the most british sentence i've ever said in my life and i'm not even british I had a dishwasher that i didn't know how to use because i don't own a dishwasher the annoying thing is with me is because i have celiac disease i can't can't really like can't really go and buy takeout when I go out traveling so I had to make sure we had a nice big fridge and that was the thing with this Airbnb it had such a nice kitchen it was perfect perfect that's the thing with having celiac disease because I'm allergic to so many things. Wherever I have to go, I have to make sure it has a kitchen. So with Airbnb kitchen, some of them, not all of them, but some of them have like little complimentary goodies. For example, they'll usually have like the sugar and the coffee and the tea. And most of them will have a ton of tableware up the top here. I felt like such a grandma because um they had these like antique teacups and they're really cute. So I was like, you know what? I have to use them. Like, I'm sorry. They were too cute not to use. Probably like a cup of tea. Yeah, sure. Go on, have a cup of tea. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, a bunch of tableware for all the guests. A knife block in case someone breaks in and you need to chop chop, you know. Finally, cutting boards. But I'm too fancy to use Bloxburg's cutting boards, so I make my own. Ha ha ha. Also, fun fact about me is um, if I ever want to make toast wherever I go, I have to bring my own toaster. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to add them because it will probably mess up the upstairs floor. But they had these gorgeous roof panels. Oh my gosh, it was stunning. Anyway, that's pretty much what the kitchen looked like and i mean again because we are doing an airbnb every single room is gonna have its own little complimentary gift basket maybe we can have like little bags some free groceries you know help yourself out and then voila that is our kitchen so now moving on to the living room i can't get over how cute this living room looks the layout was a bit questionable as you will see because i'm gonna build it but um overall the furniture and everything they picked was adorable literally felt like i was transported into the 1500s okay not that far. I'm talking like 
1950s. 1500s. Oh, we can even do our little DIY fireplace right here. This is what I mean when I say the layout was a little bit questionable. They had two console tables, right? They had the fireplace in the middle, but they had the TV on this console table. I was very confused. They also had a ton of firewood, except I don't really know how to start a fire, so there was no fire. Okay, I'm trying to build this off memory. I remember they had a vintage rug, kind of like that, and then for the lounges, they lit- oh my god, I'm not kidding, they had this exact sofa mixed with these two sofas. You know what though, if I ever had my own Airbnb, I think I would also go for the same antique look. I feel like it just had so much character compared to like houses nowadays. Like, all throughout the house, they had little antique furniture. Living room was just like so elegant and comfortable. And the view was like even better. You guys know how much I love my views. Literally every single window you looked out of had a gorgeous view of the greenery. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show stopping, spectacular, never the same. Which means we can now work on the bathroom. I think I might low-key have literal nightmares of this bathroom. Because I am not kidding when I say I went in this bathroom and there was a mosquito the size of the Mona Lisa. The amount of spiders I saw in this house, absolutely terrifying. But I mean, then again, I do live in Australia. So like, what do I expect? Speaking of bugs, you guys want to know what I woke up to one morning? This. I woke up to a huntsman spider. Just chilling in the house like he owned the place like he was paying the bills you know it was so terrifying we're in a bit of a rush that morning so we're like oh we can't get rid of it so we left we went to bed kind of forgot about it we woke up and it was gone so yeah don't know where that spider is now he's probably he's probably living his best life honestly good for him <laughs> For this bathroom, with this Airbnb, like most Airbnbs, they give us a bunch of towels. Oh, they also gave me like dressing gown towels. I put it on and I kind of felt like Queen Victoria for a little bit. Ah, uh, yes, we had the toilet over here and then we had the bathtub here. Do you remember my last video? <laughs> how I said I'm never ever gonna use one of these? Yeah, I'm gonna use one of them. Only because they had it in the Airbnb, okay? Otherwise, I would never. I've made a severe and continuous laps in my judgment. But yeah, they had a shower curtain and I'm not used to shower curtains and I hated it so much. Every time I was in the shower, it kept sticking to my body. Literally felt like I was getting attacked. But anyway, that is it for the bathroom. Don't worry guys, we cannot forget our complimentary baskets. Yeah. Okay, so now that the first floor is done, we can finally start working on the second floor. Excuse me, why is that fireplace coming through the floor right now? Get out of here. Now, first things first, a little bit of an interesting layout. There was two bedrooms, but the first bedroom was kind of an open concept. What they done was actually super cool, so I'm gonna try and recreate it as accurately as possible. Okay, so they had the bed over here, the bed nice and tucked so it's all fancy, a ton of pillows. I don't remember how many pillows they added. Kind of lost count after the 10th one. I think it was something like this. And then they had an extra wall here, and all this part was a massive opening. I don't actually think this was meant to be a bedroom, and this entire entire section up here was made out of curtains, so it was like heaps of privacy. They also had the same thing, but over here. But I am too lazy to copy that entire thing, so I'm just gonna be adding fake curtains. I meant really real curtains, I promise they're so real. So yeah, the reason they added this right is so if there's two people staying here, they can close the curtains up here and you have a ton of privacy. I don't really like wood furniture, but, but honestly, after staying in this place for a while, I've changed my mind. Wooden furniture actually does not look too bad, I'm just dramatic. I cannot believe my eyes. What else? Oh, complimentary towels. Guys, this is an Airbnb. When I came in, they had stacked towels on the bed, stacked face towels, and little rolly towels. They had a lot of towels. I don't know why they would think I would need so many towels, you know? I also noticed that all the lighting in this house was very warm instead of like harsh lighting, which is kind of nice. So yeah, that's what bedroom number one looked like. Actually, no, you know what we're forgetting? Slippers. So yeah, that's what bedroom number one looked like. We also had a massive mirror on the edge of this wall. So what we're going to do is put a horizontal to a mirror on top of this basic shape, resize it, and then move the mirror wherever we want to. The mirror is kind of slanted on the wall like that. Now we can move on to bedroom number two, aka the main bedroom. Now, one thing I did notice is that they had a slanted roof. It kind of looked like the house was in the attic. So, I mean, if we want to go with that accurate look, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be using a horizontal wedge, flip it around, and then put it up against the roof like that. Also, the reason I'm remembering to do this, by the way, because I woke up during the night and I hit my head on the roof. So, 
so yeah that was fun so copying this bed because let's be honest the two beds were exactly the same anyway i got absolutely attacked by mosquitoes so i wore pajamas right i was getting a little bit hot during the night so i put one of my legs out of the cover so i had my right leg out of the blanket and the next morning i wake up there is like 16 mosquito bites on my leg on my foot like there's so many bites on my foot and i was just like why me <laughs> anyway they had a window like right here next to the bed this what is that okay this kind of let in a nice little breeze into the room because we didn't really have a fan or anything else which kind of sucked and i think we had a dresser here and then like a victorian armchair on the corner okay so that's pretty much it for the bedroom last thing we're adding is a basket full of blankets <laughs> now that that's done the airbnb is all complete compared to the airbnb i stayed out i think this is pretty accurate and the total comes to two hundred and six thousand dollars. and we're gonna have a talic here and she's gonna stay in this airbnb the more I see this girl, the less and less she turns into a human. What? I don't even think I can call her a human. I don't even know what this is. But I am telling you right now that my back there is not real. Like, where is your stomach? Anyway, this is the front yard. We have the little spa right here, which is my personal favorite part of the Airbnb. Why does your bush look like Kim K? <laughs> I kind of see it. I kind of see the vision. Okay, we have the balcony underneath here with our little lock and key, our little antique key. Style is definitely something that I'm not used to. And then over to the right here, we have the little carport. And then as soon as we come in, we have a welcome sign. And then over to the left here, we have the living room. I think the living room I've done like most accurately. Who is this? Um, however, I don't know this painting. Um, it's Prince Philip. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know who that is. I like the little fireplace here that leads straight into the dining room. Also, this is where the spider was, by the way. Right here in this corner, this is where the spider was. I walked out of the house, I came back in, and the spider was gone. Yeah, we then have the kitchen with all our kitchen essentials, that little goodie bag. This is all essentials for you, Italic, because this is your Airbnb. You can stay here. I was going to say have a lemon, but I don't think you can actually like digest any food. Then have the frosted glass door that leads into the bathroom. I hate this tub but it's accurate to the airbnb so that that is what we shall do we've got all our bathroom essentials here and then uh, we lead into the upstairs area we've got a pretty little terrace of the grounds of the estate a cute little romantic getaway if you will are we about to kiss i have a boyfriend i could never oh Okay, we then have bedroom number one. I like the fact that um, you can open these and kind of just spy on people. Because there's not much privacy in this room, I'm glad you can shut these curtains. Laska, is this wall intended on giving someone epilepsy? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. You know what? Ignore that. Yeah, and these these curtains are meant to shut, but they don't. So moving on. We then have the main bedroom in here. I love the fact that this room looks like an attic. We got the curved roof up here. A nice big spacious queen size bed. Little complimentary towels. And again, a nice view of the estate. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me building a little Airbnb in Bloxburg. I thought this was super cute, especially because I just came back from my holiday. If you guys would actually like me to do another Airbnb build, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>